YC Devesh par for a change on the golf course. After leaving the game for 6 years, we bring him back to talk about the transition of ITC from a tobacco giant to an FMCG company, one that depends on sustainability and growth. Mr. Deveshwar, thank you very much for joining us. It's such pleasure. And you've had a wonderful tee off, I can see. Is this all about uh, coming back to the game or not? Well, you know, this is also a matter of luck. <laughs> and it's also a matter of who's looking. Okay, so that's nice. I, I <laughs> we can... could take that as a good luck charm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but for you, of course, uh, I, I know while uh, there's been such transition and a lot of turnaround stories within ITC's uh, career as yours, Golf has been something that's been a good alibi or no? You know, I was addicted to golf and I uh, could never imagine that my life would go on without golf for about six years now. And it has? Uh, it has. It's as difficult to get out of it as it is to get into it. So I've then what about, made you snap out of it for a little while? I think um, uh, ITC is uh, a bit responsible. Uh, in the beginning, there was a little uh, pause because of I had a little bit of a frozen shoulder. Right. But I think that was much lesser a reason because my shoulder got all right in a short while. Yeah. But it's the priorities of ITC and we got into so many things, as you know. Yes. So. Yeah. Well, that, that's precisely the point. The amount of uh, change that a company like ITC has undergone and change in terms of diversification for the better it's probably unique in that sense. Not very many companies go through such significant transitions from being a majorly tobacco company straight off to being a very, very successful FMCG company. Yes, not only it's a, it's a conglomerate. Yes. And FMCG is the latest of its uh, right. diversification. With hotels and paper. And yeah, with hotels, else. paper, packaging, information technology, agribusiness. Yes. You know, we, we've got a pretty wide spectrum. Yeah. Uh, it is possible to do all this in an emerging economy. Uh, we truly believe that. I mean, if it wasn't for being a country like India, this opportunity would have been much smaller. Yes, in a more mature economy, uh, the uh, competitive forces uh, are of a different order. Do you think truly, I mean, you've been able to accept the way India has thrown up opportunities, whether it was in terms of just providing for people or providing for newer markets? See, our original business, that is cigarettes, uh, we have brands uh, for which we have rights only for India. Right. Uh, because we were, uh, this company was owned by foreign shareholders. Yes. And the rights for India were only, uh, you know, given to ITC at a point of time. So if we were to ever go out, we, those brands would not be valid there. Right. So therefore, it made us focus on India. Yes. 